I know, I, I cannot watch it, Sarah. It's, it's just... It's just so terrible. <laughs> It's like they tried to make it fast and furious. Also, Stare, have you seen the live action initial D film? That was uh, released a long time ago. I was officially licensed, by the way. Uh, the black and orange train, Nakazato's train, was uh, has the RV swap, has the RV twenty six and a bucket seat for weight reduction. No, so it's so crazy. The lore of this series. And then you got uh, Kogashi was trained with the uh, jet engine, and like the four cars filled with jet fuel. And then he just takes off flying in one of the corners and takes a shortcut. I don't think there was anything as crazy as that, but I know, um, I forget what his name was, but he drove, he was like the first battle in stage four of Initial D, and his train has a huge spoiler on it for downforce. I might actually rewatch it pretty soon. Also, I don't know why I derailed or put on the brake there. I might have been able to make it. Because the last time I. Because I watched Initial D when Final Stage came out. And once the series ended, it ended, obviously. Oh, I got lucky. I didn't hit the back. I was really close. I mean, yeah, go on the... 1 through 4 is on Funimation's YouTube channel. And I think you could find the rest on YouTube, but not officially. I don't know if they were subbed either, officially. They might have just had fan subs, I'm not sure. But they are subbed after stage 4. Because after stage 4 you got this stage, final stage, and then if you count the two bonus movies that fit in a little bit before, I think. 
And then the Initial D Legend movies, which are remakes of Season 1. And there's three of those. And the Legend movies are really good, by the way. They have amazing animation. But they got rid of all the Eurobeat and changed Takumi's personality a little bit. 59. Dang, man, I can't get sub 5 anymore. As of lately. But lately, I'm just. I just want anything right now. I just want anything after that run. Seem to not end up wanting to buy another car. I mean, everyone who watched Initial D wanted to buy an 8.6, so. And that kind of raised the value of it. Alright, hope this positioning works. Uh. I don't like it. Okay, that's good enough. I think even Paul was like looking up how much an 8.6 costs after watching Initial D. I think you can find an 8.6. Like a, a good condition one for like 11 or 12 grand, I want to say. Don't quote me on that though. I know it is pretty expensive though for uh, an 80s Corolla. Ooh, that was close. It's not really a spoiler, but I, I can say it. I know uh, one of my favorite cars initially was the Toyota MR2 Spider in Season 5, or the MRS. I always thought that car was super cool, and I like the Toyota Celica as well in Season 3, the GT4. The Celica all track. Wasn't that Celica a rare variant of the the Celica? I remember I, I was looking like on eBay for fun and I saw one of those and it looked I liked it a lot. Great condition too. The all-wheel drive turbo to GTS. Okay. Oh my gosh. I hate that curve, man. I hate it so much. It's so scary. It's so unpredictable. What I want to know is how much it would cost to buy my own uh, Honk U2000 series train. Yes, finally, man. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm finally out of Nakazato. Oh my gosh, man. That took way too long. Now we can actually uh, do the fun parts of the run. I don't know if you're still here, Taylor, but I know you'll enjoy this part. 
I'm not sure if you've seen it before, the new strat. We do a speed boost at the very start. And now we're going hyper fast. And it gets even faster later on in the mission. And look out for the landmines. Yeah, we're going oh, around 200 kilometers an hour. This train was not designed to go this fast. I know one car, another car I liked from initially was the Toyota Alteza in Season 4. I know in America we got the Lexus IS 300, but I think the Alteza has a little more, bit more power. All right, I gotta get ready for the thing right now. And got it. So right there, I multi-tracked back into my lane, conserve a little bit more speed. Avoid the car. Okay, we're good. Gotta be super careful about that part. And I have to get ready for another derail section coming up here. And then after that I'm home free. This is silly. Yeah, let me provide a good camera view. For all this action. Has a few terrenos. Do they have any coops? Look at that, 300 kilometers an hour. This is insane. I love this. I want to put that camera back on. It resets your camera. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> look at all the sparks flying. Around 14k. 21k. <laughs> MR2 and a couple left to eat. I'm losing time here? What? How'd I lose time? How did I lose time there? Did I get the fabled slow Shingo? Or what? I don't know what happened. And the game crashed. Nice. Oh my gosh. Lord Mouse, if you're, wa if you're watching the run, I promise you, I'm not cheating. The game crashed. I don't know why, but the game crashes a lot. <laughs> this is the second time tonight it crashed. Lightning stage. Oh, I don't want to go into battle mode! I don't know how to get out of here. Stop doing that. Yo, Warmham, what's up, man? Thank you for the host. <laughs> I played the battle mode with Kiwi at GDQ. It was pretty fun. Yo, thanks, Ham. I'm on pretty good pace right now, actually. I'm on pace for some. Alright. As long as I don't mess this up, I'll be fine. <laughs> I need to stop choking here. 
This is, I need to stop. But yeah, what's up everyone from Hamstream? If you're uh, wondering what in what incarnation am I doing, I'm drifting some trains at a fast pace. Much faster than they're designed to go, by the way. Thanks to the power of momentum boosting. And I gotta think of what I'm gonna do after the derail section. I might go into left lane, because that one has a less harsh curve. I can probably maintain a little bit more speed than that. That's what I'll probably do. Because I will be in the left lane anyway, so why bother switching lanes? I don't know, man. <laughs> this game is beautiful, you're right, Ham. I'm playing a little safe here. Alright, I cannot drift here. How did I find out about this game? On YouTube, like forever ago. I've known about Dental DD since before I started speedrunning. But I didn't really play the games until, uh. until very recently. Alright, here we go, Dero Glitch. And come on, real Suge. Hit me. Alright. And I'm gonna land. Drift. Good. Alright, prepare for liftoff. Go in this lane. This might be a very bad idea. Actually, him hitting me was really good. I got a little more speed off of that. Thanks, Ryusuke. This is a really good speed right now. Am I coming up to the end part? No, okay. I always get that part confused with the other one. Wait, where am I? No track split? Okay, this is the corner. And then coming up will be the... Am I going on the outside? You know, since I have a lot of muscle memory going on the inside, I'll just do that. And then after there, I don't have to worry about a cutscene, so I can just multi-track and not have to worry about anything. Is the lies. Come on. Come on. Come on, Honky 2000 series. You can do it. It's one last move. Come on. Finish. Come on. Come on. I've been waiting way too long. Come on. 
Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Home run. Yes, dude. <laughs> oh, yes. World record. Oh, my gosh. Finally. Finally, man. That was incredible. Wow.